At a secret location tonight, unusual for a world tour of any kind, but of course this hasn't been the usual tour. After violent protests in London and Paris, the flame arrived today at its only North American stop. And before the flame has even hit the streets, once again, protesters have. The CBC's Chris Brown is in San Francisco with more. Chris. Peter, tonight there's another anti-China demonstration in downtown San Francisco as organizers prepare to take the Olympic torch through the streets tomorrow. The police are at the ready, and so are the protesters. Today, on the eve of the Olympic torch relay, staging a noisy, colorful, but peaceful demonstration outside San Francisco City Hall. Free Japan! They released doves and called for an end to what they say is China's repression of Tibet and Tibetan identity. And they also lit their own torch, the Tibet Freedom Torch. The real torch arrived in North America by plane in the dead of night, pausing just long enough for a few photographs before anxious organizers whisked it away to a safe place. The demonstrations to coincide with its appearance have been carefully plotted for weeks. Six members of the group, Students for a Free Tibet, remain in jail after they hung banners from the Golden Gate Bridge yesterday. Among them, a 22-year-old Vancouver woman who's charged with a felony and isn't being cut any slack. The bail amount is quite large. It's uh, $18,000 for her and uh, in total for the entire group it comes to about thousand dollars did those guys get released? Another Canadian, Ladin Tatong of Victoria, is spearheading much of the civil disobedience here. After years of hardly getting any notice, she's heartened her group and cause are now center stage. I mean, right away, immediately, we need the, the torch through Tibet cancelled. The International Olympic Committee has to cancel the plan to allow China to take the torch through Tibet at this moment when Tibet is in crisis. For many others, though, the disruption is spoiling what should be a celebration. San Francisco has the highest concentration of Chinese immigrants in the country, and many here lobbied hard for Beijing to get the Olympics. Chark Louis says for him, the protesters are ruining what should be a proud occasion. The torch run itself is an Olympic event. It should adhere to the Olympic spirit. There's no political idea or protest should enter into it. The city's mayor met with a Chinese ambassador here today and emerged saying he's confident that everyone will behave, but city staff are sounding less confident, saying they're prepared to change the route of the torch relay at the last minute. Peter. All right, Chris, thank you. The CBC's Chris Brown in San Francisco tonight. Prime Minister Harper 